I lost my mother and my sister, and I imagined them being in a gas chamber hugging each other. The horrors of the Holocaust are never far from survivor Nate Leipziger's mind. One of the many responsible for the murders of Jewish people was this man, Helmut Oberlander, Canada's last Nazi. Whether he was uh, just a cog, the, the cog, the wheel would not be able to turn without every cog in place. Oberlander worked as an interpreter for the Einsatzgruppen Mobile Killing Squad, a fact he concealed from the Canadian government. He lived in Waterloo, had a family, and died this week in the final stage of a lengthy deportation hearing. From his family, Helmut Oberlander has passed away peacefully. In the end, he was surrounded by loved ones in his home. Notwithstanding the challenges in his life, he remains strong in his faith. He got to die at home, surrounded by his loved ones in a peaceful death. When we know that 6 million Jews were murdered in the Holocaust, anywhere between 1.5 and 2 million were shot in pits or shot in forests or fields by the Einstadtsgruppen. Four times Ottawa revoked Oberlander's Canadian citizenship and he appealed. Each time, um, Jewish so, advocacy um, group Neighbourth Canada was so there. Where is the justice? We've seen this over and over again. Mr. Oberlander was the last known Nazi in this country, and this forever will be the legacy in this country, that we had Nazis in this country, they lied their way in, our government knew about it. Do you think it's possible there's other Helmet Oberlanders still out there? Oh, yes. By and large, the vast majority of people like this were not brought to justice, either in Germany or elsewhere, um, but most especially those who escaped to North America. While there is no statute of limitations on war crimes, prosecution may come down to willingness. I mean, this has been going on since the 80s and 90s. You know, they're old now. They, they're not really dangerous. They're not, you know, criminals in our midst. They did something that they shouldn't have done. And um, that's absolutely the wrong approach. For survivor Nate Leipziger, remembering is key. The memory of what happened has to remain because otherwise humanity will not have learned anything. Karen Lieberman, Global News.